I want to show you how you can take an audio file, and that would mean anything with pitch, any instrument, or your voice. Import it into Melodyne, and then export that pitch and rhythm information as a MIDI file, and then assign any sound to it that you have as a MIDI instrument or an outboard gear. So what I'm saying is you could use your voice to trigger MIDI sounds. Now in this case, I'm gonna show you how I replaced an electric bass performance with a MIDI tuba part. So I have this song called Let's Just Stay In Bed, and I wanted a tuba to play the same notes as the electric bass part. So it does it through most of the song, but this is just a sample right here of part of it. So you can see how the bass and the tuba are playing exactly together. And that is because the tuba is literally playing the exact notes of the bass part from the export of the actual audio file. So this is what I did. I took the bass part, I imported it into Melodyne, and it looks like this, like a bunch of blobs. This is all the pitch and rhythm information. And then I exported this audio file, this Melodyne file, as a MIDI file. And then I took that MIDI file, imported it back into Logic, then I assigned that MIDI file to a MIDI instrument track in Logic. Then I took that MIDI instrument performance and simply exported it as an audio file, as I did with any other file that started as a MIDI file. So this was a mix of audio and MIDI files. And in the end, they were all exported as audio files, put into Pro Tools, which is the format my mix engineer uses. And that was it. It all worked out really well. The tuba was perfectly in sync with the bass because it was literally playing the same notes in rhythm from that original performance, which was all possible because of Melodyne. So this is something you could do with your voice as well, and you can edit it any way you want before you export it. So you can make it perfect or imperfect or whatever it is that you want to do with it. So the possibilities are really cool.